For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Alba. Tiffany Haddish is at the center of controversy after going on Instagram Live this past Tuesday and telling her followers that she's taking a trip to Israel in the midst of its ongoing war with Gaza in order to get a better understanding of the conflict. Her caption would read, On my way to Israel to learn and see with my own eyes. Now during the live, Haddish can be seen on a plane waiting for takeoff. She would respond back to fans many of whom would express their outrage in the comedian and accuse her of being tone deaf at this time. Haddish's trip comes not too long after the United States vetoed a decision that called for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, along with the release of all hostages. Now, according to the New York Post, the United States is currently pushing for its own proposal, which would see a hostage exchange deal secured first. Haddish, who has always expressed Jewish roots, maintains her arguments for visiting Israel is that she needs to see what's going on for herself. Going to the Holy Land, I suggest you all do it. Why go? Why not go? See, I feel like I can't, I can't believe everything I see on the internet. I need to go see for myself. I'm one of those people. Haddish would continue, I know a lot of stuff on social media be not true because I see stuff people say about me and I live my life. I'm living my life and I'm like, that's not what I said, that's not true. She would also respond to a fan's comment by saying, who said I wasn't going to Gaza? I said I'm gonna see with my own eyes, gotta go to Israel first. Now as of Wednesday morning, the live was wiped clean from Haddish's social media with no reasoning why. Newsweek would report that after the live session on social media, Haddish lost over 14,000 Instagram followers due to the controversial nature of the issue. On X, formerly known as Twitter, Haddish's name would quickly become a trending topic as many would chime in and share their disappointment with her. One user on X would write, Tiffany Haddish is a prime example of what happens when you make more money than you have since. Another would share how long before Tiffany Haddish comes crawling back to the black community for support during her hard times. One more user would chime in and add, the situation is heart-wrenching, resembling a scene from a horror movie with the tragic killing of thousands of Palestinians. Amidst this, she approaches the trip as a leisurely paid vacation, which I find utterly disheartening. So what do you guys think about Tiffany Haddish visiting Israel? Is she wrong for wanting to go see for herself? And is it tone deaf for the way that she expressed her trip? Plus, stay up to date for the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to her YouTube channel and follow Comedy Hype across all social media. Plus, check out thehypemarket.com for all your cool and original merchandise. For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Alba. Oh, <laughs> you feeling my shirt? <laughs> well, I'll tell you where I got it from, but it's a bit of a secret. Nah, it's the Hype Market, thehypemarket.com. This is where I get all my exclusive pieces from black owned to cool owned brands. Every brand has a story and you get a chance to figure out who and what you're spending your money on. I mean, they even have spaces for you to use. I, 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 come here. They even have tickets for events and exclusive joints just like this. Oh, now if you excuse me, they just dropped some new art and I think it's time for me to add to my collection.